In this video I'll cover the process of hollowing models with Calipers Master version 2. First of all we need to set the scale of this model. Let's say we want it to be at 75 mm height. For this situations, boundings calipers functions has been added. Let's constrain the calipers to Y axis and press bounding calipers button. As we see now the caliper has been automatically set it as the total height of the model. Now let's enter 75 and the initial caliper size. And then choose the units you want. In this case I'll be using millimeters. Once we have everything calibrated to work in the size and units we want, we can use other calipers master advanced features. In this workflow we are going to use the calibrated extraction method. The first thing we need to do is set the thickness for the hollowed model. Just enter the thickness value, in this case 0.7 mm and choose if you want to do an extraction or if you want to create a shell for hollowing models. So just press the create shell button and the hollowed object will be appended into the subtool list below your original one. This is a non-destructive process. Now let's isolate the inner shell from the outer one. To do this, I'm just selecting one bully group of the outer shell. And then pressing Ctrl, Shift A. To select the whole part. Let's split the inner part from the outer one using split head located in the subtool palette. It's a good idea to use the transparent mode to see through the outer shell, and fix the areas where the extraction has created undesirable results. As this model had subdivisions created previously, I can reconstruct the lower ones to smooth faster. Ok so now let's greeting the scape holes. Let's say we need 2 mm scape holes to void the residual material successfully. We can use the real size brush feature to perform this task easily. In this case we want one scape hole of 2 mm. So just enter 2 and the brush automatically gets calibrated. When using IMM brushes we have to press control key while dragging to force it to be at the same size of the brush. Make sure that the skate hole cylinder is long enough to pass through the outer shell. Finally don't forget to enable the subtraction icon to make the object subtractive while dyno meshing. Perfect. We have the subtractive mesh done. Now let's go back to the outer shell and dyno mesh it. If you don't like to guess the DynaMesh resolution by trial and error you can use the new Calipers DynaMesh function. Just to pick the polygon size you want the DynaMesh to have and press Caliper DynaMesh button. We can now subtract the inner part from the outer one to get the final hollowed model. To do this, make sure the outer part subtool is above the inner part subtool in the subtool list. And then merge down. The merged mesh will keep both subtools intact until we DynaMesh it again. And that's it. We have our object dynameshed and hollowed in the thickness we wanted. Let's check it out with NetFab. By using the wall of thickness measuring tool, we can verify that our model has been correctly hollowed in the exact thickness we set it up in Calibers Master. NetFab is a great tool for fixing and converting OBJ models into STL files. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for updates and workflows on hazardbrush.xyz. Happy calibering!